friends, Bob Mason from FX Empire, and welcome to another crypto daily tech review of Bitcoin, EOS, Ethereum, and Ripple's XRP. It is Monday, the 6th of July. Jumping straight in, Bitcoin against the dollar and the hourly candlestick. Slightly better start to the day after yesterday's late rebound. Bitcoin's going to need to avoid that pivot at 1952 to support a run in this first major resistance level sitting at 9185. Going to need to see broad brace crypto rally to support a breakout from Sunday's high, however, that was at 9152.3. So, barring a broad brace rally, Bitcoin would likely fall short of that first major resistance level. Fall through the pivot would bring the first major support level sitting at 8951 into play. By an extended sell-off should see Bitcoin avoid the 23.6% FIB at 8,900. Moving on to the daily candlesticks on the MACD, you're going to need to see Bitcoin avoid that 23.6% FIB at 8,900. We've got, looking at the trend analysis, we've got this first key support level at 8,855. So a fall through the 23.6% FIB would bring that into play. A breakdown through there and we could see Bitcoin begin to pull back to 8,600 levels, which would then be a bullish trend reversal. So avoiding the pivot would support a breakthrough and the resistance levels to target 9,500, which has continued to be a key resistance level. Going to need to see a breakout from... 10,012 to then target this key resistance level 10,398. So through 9,500, through 9 to 9,800 here would support a bullish run. So looking at the MACDs, we've seen a narrowing of the histograms here, supporting of a possible upside on the day. Looking at the EMAs, however, we're seeing a possible narrowing here between the 50 and the 100 that would signal a bearish crossover. So you've got, to, got to need to keep an eye on the MACDs and the EMAs on the day and for Bitcoin to avoid sub-1,900. Moving across to EOS against the dollar and the hour candlesticks. Bearish start to the day after yesterday's rebound. EOS is going to need to avoid the pivot at 40.30 to support a run at this first major resistance level, sitting at 48.05. Going to need to see broad-based crypto rally, however, for EOS to break out from yesterday's high that was 47.21. Fall through the pivot, it's going to bring this first major support level, sitting at 33.34 into play. Barring an extended sell-off, should see EOS avoid sub 230s and the second major support level is sitting at 25.57. Moving across to the daily candlestick and the MACD and the trend analysis. So key on the day will be to avoid a fall through the pivot at 40.30 that would then bring support levels and then this key support level at 219 into play. Break down through there and that's bullish trend reversal. Breakthrough, the resistance levels on the day would then give EOS a run at 290, which would then be needed to break out to 311s and then support that near-term bullish trend. Looking at the MACD, suggestive of a possible bullish day ahead following yesterday's late rebound, that pivot level will be key on the day, however. We're seeing a slight narrowing here of the EMA between the 50 and the 100 and even the 50 and the 200. So possible move north on the day. Moving across to Ethereum against the dollar and the hourly candlestick. Mixed start to the day. Going to need to see Ethereum avoid the pivot at 227 to support a run at this first major resistance level at 230.57. Going to need to see again another crypto rally to support a breakout from yesterday's high. It was at 229.93. Fall through the pivot's going to bring this first major support level sitting at 224.14 into play. 
Brian extended itself, we continue to expect to see Theorem avoid sub 215s. So we've got the second major support level sitting at 22060. Moving across to the daily candlesticks for Ethereum and the MACD. So, narrowing of the histograms here, possible bullish crossover. Going to need to see Ethereum avoid the pivot level at 227, however, to support a run through to 250s. On the trend analysis, 253 is the first key resistance level. And then you need to see a breakout through the 23.6% favor at 257 to support that near top of this trend. Pull back through 215s would bring this key support level at 176 into play, break down through there, and that's a bearish trend formation. So looking at the EMAs, we're seeing a slight narrowing between the 50 and the 100. So going to need to see if they avoid the pivot to support this shift in the histogram to a bullish trend. Moving across to Ripple's XRP against the dollar and the hourly candlestick. Mixed start to the day. Going to need to see Ripple's XRP avoid pull back through the pivot at 1770 to support a run of this first major resistance level sitting at 1796. Board based crypto market rally to break out from yesterday's high 17.886. In the event of a crypto rally, should see Ripple's XRP break through to 18s and test the second major resistance level, so 1818. Pull back through the pivot, we bring the first major support level sitting at 1745 into play. Should see Ripple's XRP avoid sub 17s we've got the second major support level sitting at 1716. moving across to the daily candlesticks and the macd for ripples xrp on the trend analysis going to need to see ripples xrp avoid a pullback through that pivot and avoid sub 17s we've got that key support level sitting here at 1690 a breakdown through there and that's a bullish trend reversal macd's pointing to a possible bullish day ahead with a bullish formation here, as you can see. No narrowing on the EMAs, however, so we're going to need to see Ripple's XRP avoid through that pivot at 1770. Breakthrough to 18s and the second major support level would give Ripple's XRP a run at this first key resistance level at 2150s and then a move through to 2357s. So key on the day, avoiding a pullback through the pivot and a run through to 18s.